morning. You know, I figured I'd do it in front of this nice little lily pad uh, pond because uh, at least it's something better to look at than my face. Anyway, this is another good thing to look at. This is the Volador VX 3.5. Now, when Flyfish RC reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try the new Volador 3? I said, no. Reason being is because I lose so many three inches in this park alone. Let me show you where. I have one stuck up there. I have one stuck up there. And I have one stuck up there. If you can find it, it's yours. That's why I don't like three inch. But then they said, you want to try a 3.5? And I was like, I'm interested. I guess this is a disclaimer. They sent me the frame and the motors, uh, not even to review. It's just said, try it out. If you want to review, sure, go ahead. But you know, no obligations whatsoever. I'm going to make a review anyway, because I think people might want to find out what is this thing capable of. Is it a good quad? Is it a good frame? Is it a good base that you can build your future FPV? However, Here's the thing, I don't like flying around trees anymore. Too much trauma. So where should I take the 3.5 to fly? I would say to the bando! There are no bandos in Singapore. So I'm back at the spot. This one, just look at this guy. This is the creepiest bando you've ever seen, but also the most accessible. Yo, my 3.5 flies better than a 5 inch blah blah blah. Yeah, no doubt, man. But can it survive a bando? Let's go find out. I want to try and do. I want to do a do a mathy, then a yaw spin, and then another mathy. You think I can do it? How am I going to do this for their own use? But even for their own use. Right. Yeah. That was pretty awful, but okay. I will take that. I had a custom. I had a custom. Zimbabwe. I was looking for. This one. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah, this this thing is fun. It's so fun. I'm so glad. I didn't break an arm. I just dent the motor bell. But then, luckily, I had one spare. Robbie, thanks for sending me that. Awesome. Uh, Volador 3.5. I'm gonna send more spots hopefully. And yeah, see you in the next spot. Wow! Look at this spot, man. Look at this spot. Yeah. So it's been raining everywhere in Kuala Lumpur, but coming to Charas, this is the spot. The Sapat. I'm gonna rip the Volador VX 3.5, VX 3.5, and the Volador 2. This guy made his first experience at this spot, and then now I'm gonna bring out the little brother, and let's see how the little brother does, baby.
my god, just got done ripping just the Volador VX 3.5 and this thing is awesome, man. Uh, I, I actually was more uh, daring this time because the fact that there's a smaller quad and you could fit through those gaps much easier. This place is huge, man. So you can make a mistake and still make it through, no problems whatsoever. But man, I'm loving this quad. Yeah. Like 6S motors, get the 6S motors. Get the 6S motors, you fly 6S in a place like this, and then you fly 4S in a bando. You have more like more control in the bando. This one you can just full send it all over. And you can hear like Trey just like full sending it the entire time. Shout out to the MVP, this battery pad right here, because like even though I use double straps, this battery pad, look at that. If you stick it down there, it's stuck. It's pretty much stuck. Like that. I mean, I gotta shake it a little bit and then it comes off, but you see, it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna clean it, wipe it off, and then it'll be sticky again. Uh, get a buzzer, get a buzzer, because this thing is tiny, and I crash into a, like a, a little hole somewhere, and it's hard to hear or hard to see, find out where this thing is. Oh, uh, another day, another bando. Welcome to the land of bandos, people. This is uh, Malaysia for you. Well, I'm here in front of this abandoned hotel. Gonna test out the Volador VX 3.5 again. I was supposed to meet somebody here, but you know, I messaged him and then he, I don't know, I guess he ghosted me lah. So, yeah, there's a nice bridge over there. You can power loop Matty, those kinds of things. Uh, this is a car park. You want an abandoned car park? You can come here. Looks creepy as hell. Completely abandoned. Probably trying to do a dive there. And then we see how it goes. The VX 3.5 has been a very odd quad. Um, it does not fly like a 5 inch, does not fly like a 3 inch, uh, just feels very different. I prefer to fly it on 4S because uh, more throttle resolution, you could say, less power, but nah. 6S is where you want to go. You know, this guy is super powerful. Uh, I broke off a few things on this thing already, like I'm missing some TPU here. It's been into some proper crashes, but still, O3 camera, still one piece. Motors are slightly scuffed, but you know, what do you expect? Still pretty good. Let's go. It. That was the spot. The Volador VX 3.5 did super well again, obviously. Uh, this spot is kind of like nice up, but it's kind of scary. So come with people. Because if you get stuck in there, it is accessible, but it's scary as hell. So yeah, this guy, I'm gonna keep sending you, man. Like, until all the props get chipped off and everything. Super fun. Weather's coming in. You can see dark clouds behind me. So I'm gonna make a move. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll see you. Back in the studio. So I'm back in the studio. New studio, well, temporary. And let's talk about this, the Volador VX 3.5. Yeah, okay, so quick. Things I love about it, it flies really, really well. Um, such a nice, small, nimble quad. Does it fly like a five inch? No. It flies like a 3.5 inch. People that say that it flies better than a five inch, it flies just like a five inch. You have no idea, <laughs> really. Uh, 
A five inch fly is like a five inch. It, it weighs like a five inch, it has power like a five inch. This thing doesn't weigh as much as a five inch. It's very, very light and it does not have enough power. Like look at the props, man. The props are tiny. It's gonna take you a long time to get this from one end of a bando to another end of the bando compared to a five inch or a seven inch. So like, yeah, it doesn't fly like a five inch. It flies like a really, really good 3.5 inch. That's all I can say. Um, having the O3 now, and I think the O3 is one of the best inventions of last year into 2023, I think you don't need a GoPro. And because you don't need a GoPro, then you know you have a smaller, lighter quad and you still get that mm, wonderful motion blurry 4K HD, ultra HD footage. Uh, super good. Things I don't like about this quad. Uh, number one, the props. 3.5 inch props. I think there's only like a couple, maybe three, three types. There's an Emax one, HQ one, and a Gemfan one. And they're all really brittle. Um, I mean, not much I can expect from a 3.5 inch prop size. It is, they chip is easily, they break off easily. And the worst part is if you're in a bando situation and you crash and the props bend or break, then oof, yeah, you can't turtle, you can't get out of your sticky situation. And yeah, another thing I don't like about it is that if you don't, it's small, it's tiny. If you don't have a buzzer, like what I did on this thing, then it's really, really hard to find, really hard to hear. And yeah, I mean, you can solve it. Just put a buzzer on it and then you should be good. What else I don't like about this thing? Really? Oh, oh, yes. The Volador VX 3.5, uh, by default, your stack is a 25, it's a 25 mm AIO stack. Uh, you can fit, there's enough height for a 20 by 20, but the, 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 the mounting here is not the most optimal. You can put it in, uh, but I would have preferred to have a uh, 20 by 20 stack versus uh, a 25 by 25. I don't like AIOs. AIOs, I've never really had much luck with AIOs. I have killed more AIOs than I've killed ESCs. Think about that. Nothing else much to dislike about it. I think this is a really, really good quad. I think it's super nice. The form factor is super small. You can chuck it in your bag, take it anywhere, you know, take it on trips. It will outperform your wildest dreams if you fly a 6S and you fly a 4S in a bando situation when it's really, really tight spaces and it'll still do pretty well. So I think, I honestly think that Flyfish RC has really knocked it out of the park with the Volvo 2.5, just like how they knocked it out of the park with the Volvo 2. Uh, I can't wait to see what else they bring to the table. And yeah, as always pilots, Go send it!